going everybody? Today is the 11th of May, the new moon in Taurus. You should be uh, embracing this time for manifestation, writing down everything that you want, talking to the universe about it, thinking about uh, practical rituals that you can do, grounding, going outside barefoot, that sort of thing. Uh, but that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is Jupiter moving into Pisces on the 13th, which would be Thursday. And also, at the same time, Mercury will be entering its pre-shadow phase of its retrograde on Thursday. <laughs> so this is going to be really fun. Uh, and I want to also talk about the Saturn retrograde coming up. Uh, at the end of the month, I believe it's like the 23rd or 24th, Saturn is going to be going retrograde. And so that's going to bring kind of a, a stop, kind of a standstill at that time. So that's something to look forward to, something to be aware of. Um, and then a few days later, we have the lunar moon total eclipse, which is going to bring change and transformation. Your life may completely turn in a new direction, and then Mercury will be going fully retrograde on the 29th. But this pre-shadow period, which starts this Thursday, is actually, I've found to be more powerful and more potent than the actual retrograde period itself, is when Mercury starts getting really close, uh, coming back. Um, getting ready to go direct and then um, fully retrograde. So this period is where communication is off, technology may have difficulties, travel restriction, that sort of thing, um, cars breaking down, just stuff not going your way, you know? Communication breaking down, you can't get through to people, you have uh, stupid petty arguments and disagreements, um, and just missing the mark. So, another amazing thing to look forward to, which starts on Thursday, the same day that Jupiter moves into Pisces. And I want to talk about this because Jupiter is a co-ruler of the sign of Pisces, along with Neptune. So Pisces is has already had Neptune here for the last uh, seven years, uh, 2011. So, Neptune's been in Pisces for a while, okay? And it's an outer planet, so it stays in, in the sign for a long time. So, Neptune is here in Pisces, which rules Pisces, and now Jupiter joining both rulers of Pisces. Moving into Pisces is really going to connect deeply with all Pisces signs, whether it's your Venus, your Moon, your rising, doesn't matter. If you have any Pisces in your chart, look for where that is um, and that is where you'll be having a magnificent time with Jupiter. So there's two sides to this. Jupiter brings expansion and Pisces wants to connect spiritually. So because Pisces is so sensitive and intuitive you will have an increase in psychic awareness, an expansion in connectedness, um, psychic abilities, mediumship abilities, seeing the bigger picture when it comes to spirituality. Also, Jupiter brings blessings. So, you can think of this as karma coming in for you and getting an understanding of where you are spiritually. And so, if you're not a spiritual person, this period will still bring you an awareness. Even if you're like, whoa, and you don't really understand it, you will start to notice the signs and synchronicities. People who have never been connected to spirit before are going to start to understand the mystery that is the universe. And maybe not fully, but it's like a glimpse. Okay, so Jupiter's going to be here until the end of July, and it's going to move back into Aquarius until December. Then it will move back into Pisces and be there for the majority of 2022. So what we're getting right now in this two month period is just a glimpse of what is to come next year. This is a very 
cool, important time uh, for everyone to see the possibilities, to see where the expansion could happen. Healing, subconscious awareness, as well as karma. So when Jupiter comes in, things can happen that seem out of the ordinary and uh, they could seem difficult or challenging at first and then they end up being really great at the end and it's about full lesson and are you open um, to what is to come. So it's a very expansive energy. Pisces is very open to other realms. The negative side of this would be overindulgence in food and alcohol or whatever it is, however you escape because Pisces likes to escape from this reality. Pisces likes to be up in the ethers, up in the clouds, up with spirit, wherever, or in the ocean, wherever it is, that's not here. So this energy will be expanding as well. So there's two ways this can go. Uh, you can avoid reality and try to escape and still connect with spirit, but maybe not in the best way possible. Or you can really try to focus and harness this energy and incorporate it into maybe like a self-care process where you want to take part in more daily prayer or meditation and use this energy to increase your psychic awareness and abilities to call in whatever it is you want to manifest with this new moon right now. And uh, just get really excited about that energy and what it could be the opportunities that Jupiter wants to show you because like I said this is just a preview this two month period things can go really good uh, for everyone or it can bring up these challenges where it's like karma where it's like a lesson being learned and then it still ends up good in the end if you're open to the lesson you're being taught right and if you're open to the spiritual connection that is available to you during this time so, like I mentioned, all Pisces placements will be feeling this stronger. If you have a lot of Pisces or a lot of water, period, Cancer and Scorpio will also be affected, um, as well as mutable energies, which are Virgo, Sagittarius, Gemini, along with Pisces. Um, because water is very good with the flow, Pisces is mutable. So, we need to be open to going with the flow, surrendering to spirit at this time, and, and being open to your spiritual capability but also to what spirit is trying to show you for what is possible for your life and that's why this new moon too today is very important because we want to feel it and we want to know it's real and tangible but we're thinking about these goals and what we want to manifest so Jupiter is going to be expanding on this energy and showing you what is possible when you let go and you let things go with the flow and you don't try to control it. So this is a very important time for love. I want to mention um, now this week you may feel that Jupiter in Pisces is trying to get you to recognize your alignments with people, with spirit, with career choice, things of that nature. So. Uh, you may be noticing that things are, feel a little bit off in your relationship or in your career or with friends. So if, if you're not having an alignment, this time will show you who needs to go and why. So you may be feeling disconnected from your purpose, your path, and Jupiter wants to correct your path. Jupiter is like daddy. He's like Santa Claus. And... Uh, he wants to bring good things and blessings and opportunity and in Pisces it's very spiritual and sensitive and it's about your path your life mission so he's going to be trying to get you to see where you have not been in alignment and where there is disconnect and a big part of this in love and in career is going to be does it feel right does it feel like you in this career, or you with this certain partner, or you with these friends, or whatever, do you share similar spiritual goals? Do you feel your soul missions are in alignment? Do they understand those aspects of you? And 
and your views and perspectives in those ways? Or is there disconnect? Is there misalignment in those areas? And this is what is going to show you the best way for you to move in the future in order to find your own personal alignment with yourself, your higher self, but also with spirit. And that ultimately is going to get you on the best path, the most opportunity, where you can affect uh, the most people that you can positively, and really get going by correcting your path on your soul's mission. And who's been maybe in the way, maybe challenging that for you, and what aspects as well, you know, like career, and things that have had your focus that were not aligned. So that's going to be very important. So we've been getting these warning signs. I talked about this. Oh no. I guess my smoke alarm needs to have its battery changed. I really hope that doesn't do that this whole time. So I'm going to be fast. We've been given the red flags. We've been given the warning signs. Okay, so this is about the same energy as the last video, basically. Not holding on to something that is not in alignment with you. Not... Uh, not trying to relive or refocus when we go to these periods where Saturn is going to make you stop and it's going to be uncomfortable. And then Mercury, you know, starting this Thursday, it's going to make you stop and move back and try to revisit things. And it is good for you emotionally to revisit those things if you still have parts of you that, that are trying to come up and be healed from it. That's for healing. That's for uh, understanding. So just because someone pops in your head or just because you run into somebody does not mean they're for you. It does not mean they're aligned to you. And, and everything does happen for a reason, but it's more so about your learning and that whole process. So many people will run into someone or think of someone and think, oh, that's a sign. It is a sign that you should probably revisit mentally and emotionally that aspect, that part of you and why you're still wanting to return to it. Go over all the negatives of that situation and why it's not good for you and then refocus on the healing aspects of it and the lesson that you're learning instead of trying to reconnect and make something work that's out of your life for a reason. So Mercury retrogrades uh, three times each year and it does this so that you can learn. Many people think, oh, this person's coming back in my life. Like, oh, great, I can finally have what I always wanted with them. When it's not meant for you to have, it's meant for you to learn. And the fact that you're still open to having it most likely means you didn't learn anything from it. Because we come apart for a reason uh, with people and career. And just take this in every aspect, okay? Or however it resonates for you. Everyone has different topics and issues that they cling to. So... Uh, we've been giving these warning signs a lot and you're gonna have to have a spiritual awareness and that's why Jupiter is moving into Pisces. It really gives us this chance for more blessing, more opportunity, more understanding and the healing that we need to redirect our path and our alignment, to let go of the things that aren't in alignment. And like I say, when Saturn goes retrograde and Mercury here retrograde, and the full moon lunar eclipse, this is all about an accumulation of, it's like really strength and powerful stopping. Uh, because in this Gemini energy that we're going to be in, and Venus is here, and Mercury and Gemini, like our thoughts are really important right now, and stimulating and intellectual, and sometimes that gets the best of us, overthinking things. And when we want things to move fast, and things are moving fast, we don't stop and think about, are they what's best for us? Are they emotionally going to be the things that we need, that are in alignment with our ultimate path and mission? And your path and mission should never be focused or surrounded or evolving determined by one person or your partner you should be on the same path and whether you do things differently and you get there differently that's fine but if you have the same goals in mind you have the same mission do you have the same spiritual values ethical values uh, do you feel the same materially with this Taurus energy right now is your focus the same because you don't want to jump into something, jump back into something, or start something new with somebody, 
or career, whatever, that makes you feel, well, things can work in this aspect, but I may have to change some things about myself um, that really you, you know that you need for your purpose. So what I'm saying is don't neglect the aspects of you that you know ultimately are there for you for a reason, for your path and your mission, your purpose and what your goals are. So you don't want to think, well, I could be with this person, but I'm going to have to let go of some of these values that I have, or I'm going to have to change my focus a bit. You should have the same focus, ultimately. You may have different ways that you do things, or you may bring different things to the table, but the ultimate goal and mission for your soul and your life's path and what you see for yourself 20 years from now and how you want to help be the light and, and raise humanity's consciousness, this should be the same. It needs to be aligned. Okay, so where are you connected? Where is there chemistry? Where is it just flowing for you? Where there's no disconnect, where there's no challenges, okay? And for some people, it's going to be career. For some people, it's going to be a new idea that's being sparked for a new hobby or a new business or a new way to help people. For some people, it will be love. For a lot of people, it's just healing and learning more about who you are and how you can get into alignment with these things in order to call in these new manifestations. So before uh, my thing beeps again, I just want to do a quick all signs for what we can expect when Jupiter moves into Pisces. Spirit, thank you for your blessings. Thank you for Jupiter. Thank you for this chance to recognize the aspects of ourself that need to be healed and being given the time and the chance and the connectivity to make that happen. Please give us uh, all signs. We'll start with the collective. Collective reading for when Jupiter moves into Pisces, please. What can we expect for the collective? moving forward through this two-month period. I feel like I don't have any space here. Thank you, Spirit. Collective for Jupiter and Pisces, the Chariot. Oh yeah, moving forward, this is Cancer Energy. This is getting corrected. Uh, this is definitely spirit correcting your path. This is you deciding that you're going to move forward and that you're taking the reins back of your life. You're taking control back of your life. This is about manifest manifestation um, of what you want. But it's also about getting into alignment. It's definitely moving forward and it is a fast energy, but it's like it just gets clear for us now. And and we know the path. We know the right path for us and we're getting into alignment with that new path or with that old path. You know, maybe you got off of your path for a little bit and now you're heading back to it, but it is course correction. Thank you, Spirit. What else for the collective? Mm. That's a lot. That's too many. Just read them anyway, Spirit said. So, Three of Wands is definitely expansion. It's looking outward and what we could have. It's looking at the other opportunities and, and aspects of our life where maybe we thought there was no growth or no possibility, where now we could see that opportunity coming in. Three of Wands is also like... I have passion for this thing. I'm I have this creative ability or this idea and I'm ready to see it go to work for me. And I, it's like waiting for that opportunity to come in. Or it's like I've set myself up in this way and now I just need to wait to kind of see how it comes together. Knight of Swords, new information coming forward, someone taking action and it's quick. So you may get a new idea, a new spark of, of inspiration, and then you're moving forward in it quickly. Knight of Swords energy is air, so this is very mental energy new ideas, uh, new truths, new clarity is found, and then you find the way to move forward quickly. The world, whatever you want. This is closure, okay? Truths may be coming out, you guys may be figuring something out, uh, me included. New communication to where you, you get a more full understanding and closure 
from your past, but also the world is about the world like being in your hands. The world is your oyster and you can make whatever you want of it. So this is about opportunities and blessings. It's also about closure. We're closing a door now to something, uh, to a cycle and, and something brand new can begin. So this is a very exciting time. We have Queen of Pentacles as well. So this is about stability. It's a very nurturing, generous energy, but it's about having security. And the Queen of Pentacles, um, she has everything that she needs. And she brings comfort and a nurturing, very warm, generous energy to those who are around her. She's very grounded. And it's like about knowing what you want and just knowing you're in the right place. So I think as we move through this period and uh, we're getting on this new course corrected path, letting go of the past, allowing those things, those doors to close and heal and recognizing that's not for us, we feel more comfortable in our skin. We recognize our new path and we get excited about that. We're able to nurture others more easily and be more generous because the energy is free flowing. You feel grounded because you feel stable in where you're headed and you know that it's for you. King of Swords in reverse. This can be cutting someone out uh, or a situation out, letting go of a situation. This could also be um, someone who is not a good communicator. So there may still be some aspects that we don't understand or not having the full picture completely and that's fine because with Jupiter and Pisces it's just going to be about the connection. How does it feel? Can you see where it might be headed and know that it's in alignment? Like you don't have to have all the answers. You don't have to see the outcome before it comes. And a lot of times it's not going to look like anything you ever thought. So when you see a new partner or you see a new career choice or you see new options and opportunities coming in for you, be aware that they may not be something you're used to. It may not be the typical person you'd go for or the typical idea of a career choice. But these are the things that are going to be bringing blessings. Do they feel in alignment? Do you feel connected? Do you feel, on the other hand, that you're having to let go of some of your values in order to move forward in these things? And that's how you'll know. We have Eight of Pentacles. So working on ourselves, okay? Doing your best on your own. So when the information isn't always clear and the final picture isn't always there and you can't control how others feel or how others are going to impact you, Okay, but you can control you, you can work on you, Eight of Pentacles, you can control your own growth and you building on your own and becoming self-sufficient. You can control your self-development, learning new topics, bettering yourself in every way. Nine of Wands is protecting yourself and your energy. It's not giving up. It's definitely moving towards something and, and working hard at it. Okay, this thing might be, might be hard. Uh, as far as the commitment and as far as uh, really knowing that it's for you, wanting it to be for you. It has to be something that you're willing to work hard at. And this is saying, Spirit is saying, devote yourself to yourself and to Spirit. But it's like, devote yourself to your mission in this time when Jupiter is in Pisces. And you're going to get a glimpse of what is to come next year. If you really hone in on this this time where you're you're given this opportunity to bless others uh, and heal others, which is going to help you. But this is based in the hard work that you're willing to put in and commitment you're willing to put into yourself and bettering yourself and growing uh, yourself in every aspect, learning new topics, um, taking an online course, doing more energy work, just really meditating and grounding and making sure your chakras are in alignment, that your body is uh, the most healthy, that it could be. This is like devoting yourself to spirit. And then we have Ten of Swords. So this is an ending, it's definitely ending an old cycle. Definitely um, healing. This could have been something very painful for you. And so, for me too, for everyone, this is a collective. Ten of Swords is, um, it's the end. It's like a death. It's like, um, Maybe someone stabbed you in the back or maybe you've dealt with this for a long time and you finally had it. And that's how we know these are the doors that need to close. It's just not in alignment. If it causes pain continually for you and it's not the type of pain that causes growth, it's just the kind of pain that hurts or leaves you feeling betrayed or leaves you feeling like 
uh, empty, like you put in all the effort and they weren't giving any back. Uh, that's the doors we're closing. Those are the kind of closures that we want at this time. We're starting brand new. Okay, so focus on yourself. We're all definitely moving in a new direction. And it is going to feel very fast because of the Gemini energy. Um, but uh, we're going to get a chance to slow down when Saturn retrograde. Let's do Capricorn. Please tell me about Capricorn when Jupiter enters Pisces. Okay, Two of Cups. This can be love, soulmate energy. This could be partnering with someone, a union. This could be business partnership. It doesn't necessarily have to be love. Um, this could be you. Actually, Two of Cups is about uniting. So this could be you coming together with your aspects of your higher self. Because we're talking about spiritual growth here and expansion. So Two of Cups is about finding the union within yourself, the masculine and feminine. You and your higher self coming together as one. Really trying to embody that higher vibration of who you really are in the physical. Tell me more for Capricorn, please. For Jupiter and Pisces. Ace of Cups. Wow, some of you will be finding new love or just finding new passions, new emotional fulfillment. And this cup runneth over. This Ace of Cups is like, it's brand new. It feels good. It makes you feel, Spirit is saying whole. So I think it's like falling in love with you, Capricorn, really. It's like falling in love with your higher self. Some of you will be ex experiencing new love in the physical. But I want to let you know right now, that's only going to happen if you are in alignment with yourself. You attract love when you're loving yourself. When you become the most important thing. You know, not in a selfish, narcissistic way. But like, putting yourself first, doing the things that you love. And when you're glowing and you're, you feel fulfilled within, just by yourself, that's when you start attracting love. Okay, but this... I do feel, for most of you, Capricorns is more like falling in love with you, falling in love with spirit, falling in love with your higher self and just really embracing your mission on the planet, what makes you feel good, and being emotionally fulfilled, spiritually fulfilled. Thank you, spirit. Please tell me about Aquarius or Jupiter and Pisces. Aquarius. For the Jupiter and Pisces period this year. Aquarius. Jupiter and Pisces, please. Okay, King of Swords reversed. That same card came out as well as the Collective and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so something is ending here. It could have been kind of harsh. Uh, it's letting go of something where communication wasn't good. Um, or or you felt that this person that you're dealing with, or this could be you too, it just wasn't in alignment. It's like this, this needs to go. It couldn't connect, or there was disconnect, or there was topics you didn't agree on, you know, certain values and disagreements. And this thing is painful, but it's over. So you're definitely closing a chapter to possibly a king of swords, another air sign, which would be Libra or Gemini, or another Aquarius, but uh, this energy can be someone who lies and manipulates. You may have recognized that this person was taking advantage of you and now you're letting go of that. You cut that person out. And now there's this new energy, this Ten of Swords of this, this energy of betrayal and ending, a painful ending that is going to be healed now. So this time is over. You're closing a chapter and you're going to be starting a new beginning. What can Aquarius look forward to?
What is a new beginning for Aquarius with Jupiter and Pisces? You guys are really going to be focused on healing for this time while Jupiter is here. This may have something to do with your career as well. I'm getting for some of you. Um, or this could be letting go of friendships. You may have uh, issues with communication as well during this Mercury retrograde. Knight of Swords. Gosh, you guys are so much in this air energy, being that we have all this Gemini here. So this is like, things start to move quickly now. Someone else could be coming in, another air sign actually, to try and offer you or have a have some kind of communication here. They, this person might come back and try to talk to you, but this is over. Four of Swords on the bottom. You're working on your healing. You need to take some time out. Vacation. Uh, you may be thinking too much overthinking with all this air energy so really take this pisces time um with jupiter here and, and reconnect with spirit get yourself in a mode where you can feel more grounded and more go with the flow get out of your head you need to heal so that's going to be more of your heart energy okay thank you spirit tell me about pisces Tell me about Pisces with Jupiter and Pisces, please. Pisces. Five of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be uh, you feeling a little bit abandoned or left in the cold, a little bit lonely. This is you focusing on your yourself. So during this time, you may feel more isolated. Good things are definitely going to come in, but for a lot of Pisces, we're gonna have to be letting go of past pain and hurt, like uh, childhood trauma, abandonment issues. It's hard for Pisces, it's hard for most Pisces, I don't want to say every Pisces, to be, because uh, Pisces are so giving, and Pisces are so focused on others, that when you don't have a lot of people around you, or you disconnect from a relationship, or a job, or whatever, you can feel very lonely, because you're natural healers and natural nurturers, natural givers to those around you if there's no one there you can kind of feel like you don't have a purpose and you could easily slip into depression so try not to to move into the negative aspects of jupiter and pisces try not to look for those needs to escape and this is like escaping within yourself this is like really maybe getting too uh too wrapped up in your in your head about about how things went and then uh that would cause a depression within do you know what I'm saying? Being being overindulgent in the emotion of instability and why it didn't work out and why there maybe you're isolated at this time. You're meant to be isolated, Pisces. I've been saying that for a long, long time. You're going to have less friends this year. You're going to have less uh, people around because you're strengthening your bond with spirit. And ultimately, that's the goal because this is going to help you on your life's path and mission. So just think of it as this time is me devoting to myself and spirit, strengthening my bond with, with, you know, my connection with God. And so don't let this loneliness, don't let this isolation become loneliness, is what I want to say. Because uh, that would be easy to do. And because Pisces wants to escape, you don't want to feel those hard energies and you don't want to feel alone. So find the time, make the time, certain friends that you have, uh, certain family members or things that just make you happy um, like going out in nature, going to the ocean, planting flowers, cooking a good meal or watching a cool, you know, spiritual kind of show or movie that can help you to enjoy the time when you're alone more so that you're not worried about other people and where they are and why they're not around. Three of Pentacles in reverse. 
I feel uh, Pisces, if you if you left a relationship or you left a career path, or you you're leaving something behind. We all are. This thing was not bringing stability. There was no foundation. There was no security. We have the lovers in reverse. That's a breakup. Okay, Tower, Ten of Swords. So Pisces, a lot of you are ending uh, or already ended a relationship because there was no stability. You didn't feel comfortable and and so now you may be feeling more lonely. This thing is over. The tower came in. This thing is ended. It's done. Ten of Swords. So this is going to be about you healing. This is going to be about you learning to let go. We have Eight of Wands now. Now things move forward. This thing was holding you back. Okay, now that it's over, now that you can let this thing go, you may feel lonely at times, but... But it's like, you know you did the right thing. You know your path can move forward now. And things start to move quickly. Eight of Wands. Things start to move forward. Communication comes in. More opportunities come in. Um, conversations maybe with others that needed to happen are able to happen now. And it's like you see the path clearly. And now you have other opportunities for love. And for career. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me about Aries, please. For the Jupiter and Pisces time period. Aries energy. Ten of Cups. This is finding emotional fulfillment. So, Aries. You guys may find new love. You may find new money. This is a really emotionally happy. This is like a really good time for you to focus on family, your kids. What makes you feel happy? Uh, what makes you feel fulfilled? Tell me more about Aries. You guys are going to be feeling really good over this summer. Uh, and through this period until the end of July. So this is really good. The Empress. Wow, some of you are going to be having a baby. Some of you are going to be getting knocked up for sure. Ten of Cups and the Empress. But also, I mean, just creating a more fulfilling space for yourself in your home, with your children, with your family. Creating abundance. You're really good at manifesting right now, but you're really fertile. <laughs> a lot of people will be getting pregnant with Jupiter here, but a uh, new baby brings fulfillment, you know, brings happiness. So I'm not saying you have to have a baby to have that, but I'm saying you're definitely creating something and you're good at it. You're manifesting things easily right now. So you're going to be bringing in for yourself you're really, yeah, two of wands is like new opportunity. New paths may bring you more fulfillment, more emotional fulfillment. But it's like you're excited about these opportunities. And you're grounded about it. But at the same time, it makes you really happy too. So, you're just like a magnet right now, Aries. Okay, Spirit, please tell me about Taurus. Two of Swords. Taurus making a hard decision. Or ha being stuck in a period of confusion or indecision. Not knowing what choice to make. So you guys may be feeling this disconnect as well. Because there is going to be all this spiritual energy. But there's also going to be all this... You know, we're in this Taurus energy right now. So it needs to be materially correct. It needs to be physically... So you can feel it. But it, it's going to be, Jupiter's going to be wanting you to have a more spiritual awareness as well. Queen of Swords is being firm. This is standing in your, in your truth, being a clear communicator. This is also about um, having clarity. You get clarity about this thing and you, you decide to move forward. Queen of Swords is like, you make the decision and you know it's the best one. So you're going to make the right decision here. Six of Cups on the bottom. Uh, this could be about a relationship. This could be about something from your past, trying to go back to something from your past. 
but it's not a negative thing. So, this is about the cycle of life. It's about giving and receiving. It's about, um, you could be giving gifts or getting gifts, but this is about whatever you put in, you're going to get out, okay? Being a clear communicator and being very firm on your boundaries and sticking to your guns is going to help you. This Taurus energy, because you are so grounded, there is so much mental here too, okay? And it's going to come down to how does it emotionally feel. And Spirit wants you to, to take into account the spiritual aspects with Jupiter here. So you can take these opportunities and run with it. You do have a choice to make, but you're going to make the right choice. And it's going to come down to possibly communication. So you may get a, someone come in and tell you, you know, that could even be like someone calls you and it's like, hey, uh, this job just opened up at my firm and I think you'd be great for it. You know, anything like that. And you could have been struggling with career choice or, or relationships and then someone just makes it clear for you. They come out and say, you know, it's not working or you're the love of my life. Let's do this. And that's the thing. It's going to be firm. It's going to be mental. It's going to be clear. Okay. Thank you, Taurus. Okay. Tell me about Gemini. Or Jupiter and Pisces. Page of Swords. That is your energy. That is a lot of air energy. This could be someone younger than you coming in, uh, teaching you something. This could be you teaching somebody else something. This is like higher knowledge or research, deciding to study or, or learn, learn a new um, topic during this time, expanding your study. And you guys are always learning new things anyway, so that makes sense. Um, this could be someone wanting to come in and talk more, or maybe you find you find someone in your life that you can talk to about things that you didn't know you could before. You also have two of wands here. This is making a choice. You get some kind of information and you make a choice with this two of wands. You may be choosing a completely new path because there seem to be more opportunities for you and there are. So the path becomes clear. Okay, and um, also with Page of Swords, this could be an energy of of online communication, technology. This is the card where it's like someone could be watching you online, someone could be stalking you, you may have a secret admirer. But a path becomes clear and uh, actually with Seven of Swords on the bottom, you may be realizing something about someone um, that you didn't know, like the, they may be not as trustworthy as you thought. You may get new information about somebody and that is what makes your path clear because you realize that they're not who you thought they were. Seven of Swords energy. Um, or also you could be running from a problem. So don't run from your problems. This could be your person too, they could be running from you. But either way your path becomes clear and you realize this is the better way for me to go. Okay, and it's all coming down to communication or your thoughts. When you think something through and you get clarity or you get some new information, you get clarity, you decide up for this path, two of wands, a new, a new path. What's the new path Gemini is headed toward? Tell me about the new path Gemini is headed toward. What's the new thing for Gemini? Two of Wands is also about travel. You may be wanting to travel more. And it also can be about planning, planning your future. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. So you guys, it seems like you're moving into an energy where, where you want to be alone. Um, or you want to move away from this lonely energy. So this person, you may have been with somebody, yeah, you may have been with somebody who was hurting you and you didn't really have proof and then you got proof, you know, but really it's like you look back and you were kind of lonely the whole time. You know, that kind of like chaser energy where you were wanting them to be there for you or you were looking for something in them that was never really there. And so you may be with someone, but you kind of felt lonely despite it. 
Two of Wands is like choosing a new path. You want something passionate, adventurous, something new, um, something kind of spontaneous. And then we have Queen of Wands on the bottom. So I feel like you guys are heading towards a phase of being alone, but in a good way. It's like growing your self-respect and self-worth, doing things that make you feel good, finding more adventure, more excitement, more passion in your life. Queen of Wands is very attractive to others and to abundance and opportunity and blessings as well. So by focusing on yourself, moving away from this person or this thing that caused you not to trust, this thing, if it ran away from you or you ran away from it, it happened for a reason. So don't try to go back to it. You become your most attractive self, your most um, magician, manifester type self when you move into this energy of the Queen of Wands. You may also be coming into contact or having a Queen of Wands enter your life. So this could be male or female, but it is a more feminine energy of uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, fire sign. So fire sign may enter the scene. Um, or you're just becoming more confident in who you are through through that period of kind of refocusing on yourself. Strength card. Okay, so you need to just have faith and trust the universe. You will manifest more and grow more when you focus on yourself. You'll be way more confident and attractive to others. When you let go of this thing, get yourself out of this energy of overthinking and uh, move more towards the things you're passionate about, the things that are hot and bring you adventure and, and passion and excitement. Thank you, Spirit. Why do cards just keep popping out? I know, everyone's picking a new path, I know. It's like, Spirit just keeps telling you the same thing. Thank you, please tell me about cancer. Jeez. Okay, everyone has a choice to make it seems. We're all choosing a new path. So this is gonna be what makes you feel most stable and secure. Two of Pentacles, this is for Cancer. Two of Pentacles is about finding stability and security, setting yourself up financially, planning, being more frugal, watch how you spend, save more money. Seven of Pentacles, you're working on something. Okay, so this is about finding something you're dedicating your time and money and effort to. And this thing is gonna grow and bring you stability and security, but right now you're just working on it. It's just a baby. You're just starting to nurture it now. There's really no rewards or results coming in yet. Two of Wands, exactly, again. Because everyone is choosing a path. So there may be confusion here. With two twos, it's like weighing the pros and cons. Which is going to be the best path for me? I don't know right now, but when Jupiter comes into Pisces, things are going to become more clear. And the thing is, honestly, what Spirit is saying is the thing that you put your most energy into. It's the thing that you grow. It's the thing that you work on and you cultivate. That's what's going to give you the best opportunity. This two of wands is choosing a path, probably choosing a new path, but it's expanding your horizons. It's expanding the things that bring you joy and happiness and excitement. And that's when you get this new opportunity, Ace of Wands, for creation. It's, it's brand new. It's hot, right? Uh, and then it turns into Three of Wands. So you know this thing is going to be good for you. And it brings expansion to your life. It opens up doors for you and broadens your horizons in, in ways that you never have. So Cancer, right now you're you know, weighing the pros and cons about money or you're worried about money. But when you set yourself up financially or you figure out more about spending or investing, whatever this thing is for you about money, it's about your effort. If you put in the effort and you work hard at this thing and you decide, it's like committing to this thing and you're going to put your money into it or you're putting your heart and soul and your, your own security into it and you're building this thing. Now you become ready to choose a new path. The path becomes clear for you, two of wands, and it's going to be something exciting. It's going to make you feel more passionate. It's going to make you feel more happy. Ace of wands, it starts to begin. A new spark, a new inspiration. It comes together. It becomes clear. And then three of wands is even more on that expansion front, is seeing it start to come in for you, waiting for it to cultivate, and seeing the opportunities as they come in. It's a, it's a really positive passionate, exciting energy. And it's just really going to be about cultivating these areas of your life where you find these more passionate opportunities coming in for you. The things that get you excited. That's the things you're going to want to focus on over this next two-month period, Cancer. 
Let's go to Leo. Okay, Spirit, tell me about Leo. That's a lot of things, but okay. Nine of Pentacles, focusing on yourself, self worth, building on your own, becoming self sufficient. This is uh, the card of the single person. So, becoming single. Nine of Swords is heartbreak. It's thinking too much. It's too much in your head. This is air energy. So, it's like you're trying to become more grounded and self-sufficient and being alone. But you do have something that you're trying to let go of. Something that worries you may keep you up at night. Uh, and we have this Five of Pentacles too, which is lonely. I'm seeing a lot of this. Same cycle repeating for everybody. Okay, we're going through this period of having forced to be lonely, basically. Because you weren't doing the work on your own. You weren't doing the work with this person, with this career, whatever it was that you were doing. So now Spirit is like, hmm you're going to be forced to be alone so that you actually do the work because the lessons weren't being learned you weren't pushing towards your path maybe you were just in a place where you were content so now that you're alone you're focused on your money there is something here that is stressing you out or making you feel upset it could be money on your mind or searching for security and stability but the five of pentacles is kind of feeling lonely and abandoned if you're going through abandonment issues um, or abandonment issues are resurfacing at this time, that's something you really want to deal with. Um, when Jupiter comes into Pisces, it's something that you could heal more easily with that spiritual energy here. Page of Swords, you could be um, online uh, starting new online courses, new material, researching more in depth about yourself, more about how to heal things, going deeper into researching and this is usually online it's a very mental energy but it's this is like you know talking to people online meeting new friends online chatting f watching someone following someone online um this you know it's like a facebook type social media energy um but it's also about more research more study more more learning more growth mentally so you may just be rethinking about these issues that you're having and thinking about how to heal that. Page of Cups. Someone wants to apologize for something. That could be you or that could be your person. Page of Cups is like a heartfelt conversation. So you may want to reach out to someone or they want to reach out to you. But this is about... A Page of Cups is just a very loving energy. Um, but it's very immature. Um... Not in a negative way, I just mean it's it's small. It's it's not the King of Cups, you know, it's the Page of Cups. It's like a small conversation or a small offer of sorts that is emotional. Like, uh, someone wants to reach out and just say like, Hey, maybe could we, uh, could we talk? Like, could we grab, <laughs> could we grab lunch? Or, um, they want to communicate. So this could be you or this could be your person. But then we have Ace of Pentacles. It seems like... Uh, you want to do this growth on your own. You're doing this growth on your own, right? But you're still worried about something. I think it's like you don't want to be lonely. Because you're still working through abandonment issues. And we have Page of Swords, which is like... This could just be you wanting to communicate, honestly. Wanting to talk about a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles is something brand new. And it's something very stable and secure. It's something long-term. So this could be a relationship. It could be a career. It could be... Uh, you wanting more more focus in career when it comes to finances building on that but this really feels like Leo uh, you were forced to be alone and this is upsetting to you so you're having to deal with these abandonment issues and you just kind of feel like maybe someone turned their back on you page of swords is definitely wanting more communication and page of cups is loving communication um, it could be an apology, it could be just like for closure because you want this new beginning, whether that's with someone or on your own. You want this new beginning, this period of growth, which is going to bring you your long-term security and stability. So that may come in time or that may happen quickly. It depends on your own energy and the work you're putting in to heal, especially those abandonment issues, security, insecurity within yourself. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me about Virgo. For Jupiter and Pisces, please. Virgo energy. Jupiter and Pisces. 
Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's Jupiter doing with Virgos? Virgo, Virgo. That is weird. No. All right, I'm just going to read them because Spirit said so. Nine of Wands, fighting for something, working very hard at something. This is an energy of protecting, not wanting to give up. Definitely wanting to fight for something. This can bring conflict and chaos in your life, but this is because you're choosing to fight for something. It can be more defensive, but this is more like standing your ground. Like, not swaying for anyone else. Eight of Cups, you may be moving away from something emotionally that you knew wasn't good for you. And this is why you're having to put your foot down. Nine of Wands, in reverse. So, this didn't bring you the excitement or the passion that, that you wanted. Maybe you got bored in this thing, or maybe there just wasn't enough love or connection, chemistry, between you and this person, or between you and this career. Um, and so... There wasn't enough like passion or or they weren't taking enough action towards you. It's like you wanted to see, maybe you wanted them to fight for you. And um, so you chose to walk away from this thing or you're moving on. It's like you knew, you know it wasn't for you emotionally, it wasn't fulfilling you emotionally and you're choosing to walk away. And now because of this, there is more of like a defensive energy. This person could be upset with you. But it's like you were working on this thing really hard. You were willing to work on it. And either you walked away or they walked away. Because there was something was missing. It wasn't enough passion or wasn't enough action being taken. So now you're closed off to this person. You're letting it go. You don't... It's like... You or the person, the other person, may be wanting to fight for it. But one of you is closed off. One of you wants it still, one of you is like, no. It's like you recognize it need, you need to walk away from it. So maybe because you walked away now, there's like a weird, uh, like a bitterness between you. Okay, but Ten of Wands is giving up. Ten, well, Ten of Wands is like, this thing is too much of a burden, I want to put it down. I want to just be done with these burdens. Okay. Ten of Wands is an ending, and it's carrying a lot of stress. This thing really stressed you out. It caused a lot, a lot of burden and um, a lot of weight. So it seems like you're going to be moving towards something new, Virgo. What is? Okay, so you're letting this thing go because it wasn't equal. You know how the Bible talks about equally yoked? You, know? you want to give as much as you're getting. You want to have the same morals and values as the person you're with. Or career. Take this however it resonates. Whatever it was, you weren't getting as much out of it as you were putting in. This person wasn't giving to the connection, wasn't offering you anything. Uh, and they weren't taking action or there was lacking something and you needed more. So now you're going to go more towards uh, either a water sign, Queen of Cups. could be Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Or you're just moving to, toward a more loving energy towards yourself. Where you're going to be focused on what's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. And, and uh, that Queen of Cups is very compassionate, very loving. But she knows what she wants, you know. Sometimes she wears her heart on her sleeve. And some Virgos do that, you know, because they seek security in everything, especially in relationships. But it's like, even though they may not trust you fully, they want that they seek that security. And so you'll either find a Virgo who's very closed off and barely wants to talk about emotions because they're afraid, or you find one who wants to right off the bat say this is how I feel and they're very forward because they're looking for that security and they don't want to waste time. Thank you spirit. Please tell me about Libra. Please 
Please tell me about Libra for the Jupiter and Pisces transit. Libra energy. Eight of Cups, walking away, something, something was not emotionally fulfilling you the way that you wanted it to. So this is walking away from something. Uh, usually this is because you're walking towards something better, okay? This wasn't fulfilling you in the ways that you needed. Okay, this could be you or your person, take it out, it resonates. So you could be walking away or they could be walking away, but... Tell me more about Libra and this Jupiter and Pisces. This is going to be about emotional healing for you and growing emotionally. And you may find that through spirituality. Okay, so now that something has ended, Three of Wands, you're opening up in your mind, expanding on the possibilities for the future. So now it's like, now that things ended, it was hard, it was sad, um, you're walking away. And even though it's like you may feel alone, you, you're excited about the possibilities of the future. You're excited about what opportunities may be coming in for you now. Tell me more about Libra. You're looking for ec excitement and wanting to see that coming in. Uh, waiting to see. It's, a, it's about waiting. Um, so you may just be waiting to see what opportunities come in for you now. But... You're looking for passion and excitement, and wands is fire, you know, it's about action, and it's about what what lights you up. So it's like just waiting for something exciting to come in now. Tell me more for Libra, please, for Jupiter and Pisces. Ten of Cups, yeah, you're waiting for emotional fulfillment. You're wanting to find your happiest place, you know, whether it's a relationship or a career, whatever this is for you. you walked away from something and now you're waiting for this emotional connection to come in. Death and rebirth. So something definitely ended. You're starting something brand new and this has caused a transformation within you and now you're getting excited about your future. I feel that you're you're taking the reins, like how we had that chariot that came out for the collective. It's like now you see with the three of wands all the possibilities. Now you see more about what you can do for yourself and maybe the places where you weren't taking action, where now you're ready to take action. So it's like now it feels like you'll do anything for this love or this emotional fulfillment through this transformation that you have made, which was caused by the ending of this thing. Now it's like you want to start brand new, you're more renewed and, and regenerated and you're willing to take action on whatever comes next because you know it's going to be good for you and, it, and that it is a blessing. What is Libra starting over? Or what is this rebirth for Libra? Okay, so for what your uh, rebirth is, we have Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Wands. So it seems like you're looking for the thing or you want to make an offer, actually, or, or someone comes in with an offer. You may have two choices here. So one is more stable and secure. One is more financially sound and grounded. And one is more hot and spicy and passionate. This could be the energy um, that you have. That you, you're willing to work hard on something and you want it to last a long time and you're willing to put in the effort. Or this could be someone coming in for you. Or multiple people. So, this could be a fire sign. And then we have uh, Earth. So, Earth is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Fire is Leo, Sag, Aries. So, it's like either you want these two things, you're doing these two things, or these are two different people coming in for you. So one is very grounded and stable and secure, and um, one is very hot and spicy and passionate and exciting. So that's awesome. This death and rebirth for you brings in a lot more opportunities, and um, it's renewing your energy as well. Tell me about Scorpio for this Jupiter and Pisces. 
Ace of Swords. This is an epiphany. This is new communication. This is finding and realizing a truth. So someone may tell you, come with you with the truth, or you're just finding this on your own, but you're receiving clarity about this thing now. Tell me more about Scorpio for Jupiter and Pisces. Two of Swords. So this thing, this clarity, uh, actually brings in a period for you where you now you have you're forced to make a decision. You have to make a choice. You can be confused about this, but you know that you want it to be equal. So as long as there's equal give and take, you're going to be willing to do this thing. You're going to choose the path that is the most equal. Six of Pentacles can be giving a gift. It can be giving back to charity. It can be volunteer work, that sort of thing. Working in your community helping others to build their, building up their uh, businesses and things like that, being generous with others, but it's also giving and receiving. So this is about balance, and uh, it has to be equal. Anything more for Scorpio? Whatever it is, this epiphany that you've had is, is causing you to maybe second-guess some things that you were doing. Um, but that you thought you wanted. Maybe you're having a change in belief systems, having a change in values, uh, understanding new aspects of life, and it can cause confusion, but ultimately it's going to lead you to your correct path, where you'll find the most balance in the future, and focus on, on giving and receiving. This is good for you for money. You may have new money coming in during this time. High Priestess, absolutely. So Scorpio, this is the time now where you're realizing Spirit is trying to connect with you. You may feel more psychic. You may feel more inclined to your mediumship capabilities. Um, you're very intuitive as it is. You're the most psychic sign, Scorpio. So, excuse me. And then we have Five of Cups. Okay, so this could be a Dark Knight of the Soul type thing. I feel like new information comes in for you. This could be something very spiritual, okay? But it, someone came to you or new information entered your life somehow and now you have clarity. You have, you have an epiphany. You have like a an aha moment. So two of swords comes in. It's like well, maybe this changes things for you and now you're forced to decide whether you're going to change things, take a new path, etc. So six of pentacles, you're thinking about money and, and it's like trying to stay grounded in this very emotional and spiritual space that you're in the high priestess this is about subconsciously manifesting what it is you want to create co-create with spirit in the universe five of cups is more of like a sad energy feeling lonely feeling uh like a focus on the negative so we're not going to do that <laughs> okay instead we're going to use this High Priestess energy, spiritual energy, to pull ourselves out of this Five of Cups energy. Five of Cups is like, uh, she has two cups, and um, they're filled with water, or whatever this magical potion is. And then there's three other cups that are spilled out. So, it's like, you have some things that have gone wrong. You have some things that, that are arising, challenges, things that need to be dealt with. So instead of focusing on those problems, focus on the cups that you have that are full, the good things that are coming into you, the blessings that are going to come out of this challenging period. Okay, you're definitely feeling more connected and uh, a valuable truth is coming in for you. Whatever that is, however that clarity comes in, it changes things. And so that's definitely for a reason. Five of Wands. This causes chaos and conflict. So maybe some of you are, are being forced to leave a situation, change some things in a situation, or just confront somebody on something. This could be career or relationship. doesn't matter. But instead of focusing on the negative, you're really going to need to use your intuition, your psychic ability, your connection with spirit to focus more on what it is you're, you're creating for yourself subconsciously because if you're focused on the negative, you're going to be manifesting negative things. Okay, whatever your focus is on, that's what you're going to be calling in for yourself. So, don't do that, Scorpio. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me about Sagittarius for this period of Jupiter and Pisces. Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. 
Sagittarius. Okay, Ace of Cups, new beginning, uh, new love, new, 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 that new, new, new love, new inspiration, new emotional fulfillment. This is the beginning of something new. It's creative, it's expressive, it's loving. For some people, it's a relationship. For some people, this could be a baby, it could be a marriage. It's something new and in love, and it makes you feel very fulfilled okay and it, it there's an excitement about it because it's new and it's like an opportunity to create something really good that's going to be fulfilling for you emotionally but we have the seven of swords here some of you are afraid of this love and you're wanting to run the actual opposite direction okay or some of you don't trust this love or this new thing and so, actually, you may repel it. You may cause resistance if you are afraid of this thing. There could have been new love that came in and, and this person betrayed you or made you feel like you couldn't trust them for some reason. They may have lied or hidden something from you. Uh, I don't understand why this is here. High Priestess. Okay, so you're going to need to go within for this. Some of you, I'm getting, are really afraid. It's like you're afraid of love, or you're afraid of going all in, or you're afraid of maybe this brand new emotional thing. You don't trust it. So the High Priestess here is about what you want to create. You, It seems like you called this thing in, and now that it's here, you're like... No way. <laughs> Some of you are going to be realizing that you manifest so quickly. And especially, we're going to be coming into, at the end of this month, the lunar eclipse is in your sign. So expect major changes in your life. Queen of Wands. This is you. I mean, you could also be dealing with another fire sign, another female, who maybe um, inspires you. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, but this is about confidence. This is like spirit saying, hey, you wanted this. You manifested this thing, and you're not going to run from it now. So use your high priestess energies, your connection to spirit, your, your awareness and your intuition to really tune in. Is it in alignment? If it is, why are you running from it? Because it seems like you created this thing, you manifested it, and now you're like, you don't trust it. Or you don't trust that it's for you. Or maybe you don't trust that it's the right thing. And you know how you're going to know that is if it's in alignment. Do you have to give up your values to move forward with this thing? Do you feel that this person or this path is working out in, according, like in accordance with your own path? Spirit wants you to have fun, and you're super sexy right now. You're very attractive. People are attracted to you, and you're, you have a ton of abundance and confidence. So I don't know why you're not trusting this thing. You may be thinking too much about it and wondering, like, wait, that didn't come in how I thought, or that's not the manifestation that I wanted. So now it's like something feels off. But Spirit may be just telling you, take a chance. Three of Cups. Some of you could have wanted new love and it may have been with the wrong person and, and then there could have been like a third party situation involved and you knew this. You're very intuitive, you knew this. So you could be moving away from this person now. Okay, that's not for all of you. But for a lot of you, you just want to be more social. Three of Cups. You want to have more celebrations. This Gemini energy is going to be making everyone want to be more social want to go out, want to talk to more people, want to have deep conversations. You want to have uh, stimulation. Okay? So, be your confident, sexy self. You're abundant. You're glowing. You're calling things in for yourself. Question what this mistrust is, okay? And figure out, get in alignment with you, this high priestess energy. Get in alignment with your higher self and find out what it is that you're actually running from. Or why you don't trust this thing, because this, this new love is here. 
or this new abundance, this new emotional fulfillment, whatever it is for you, it's here for you. You have to be confident and take it. And you may have to rely on others for that. You may be focused on friends or, or community, other people in your network who can help you with this thing and help you to build it. For some reason, you're just not happy with it. For some reason, maybe it doesn't look the way you thought it was going to look. But it actually brings you your Ten of Cups. This Ace of Cups goes straight to Ten of Cups. So for some reason, you're not wanting to take a chance on this thing, even though you created it. You're going to find emotional fulfillment through this thing once you trust it and let it go. Okay? Let go of this mistrust or this fear or this reason why you're running. Uh, and it's going to come work out good for you, Sagittarius. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Please enjoy your time with Jupiter and Pisces. Uh, and I will see you in the next one.